Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Tuesday. Definitely got some rest last night. <laughs> Feeling a lot better today than yesterday. I was dying yesterday. I had no sleep, but now we're uh, we're on a lot more sleep than we were last night or the night before. But good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, if you're here with me, either in the Discord or in the YouTube chat, go ahead and say what's up. We got. X Spy, Silent, Big Sexy, J Covey, Raymond, O'Keefe, Potamus, Luna, Midland Trader, Mike, Sir Noodles, Dave, Trade Runner, Shaw, Apex, John, NQ Wolf, Nate Dog, GW, Big Sexy, Charmads, Vibe Trade Channel, Chad, Julius, Grateful Trader, Cyrus. We got Fister Five, Mike Jackson, Samuel, DV8, Angia, Maverick G, Caleb, Michael J. Fox, Amer G, Julio, Amplify, Surgical Surge, Hani, Marcello, Rettberg, Sedek, SW, Astro Nerd, Stungo, Manpreet, Be Consistent. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Dana, Jessica, Hoop. What's up, Hoop? What's up, Dana? Good to see you again. Woo! We got Gary, we got Karen, and Gia Scott, bro. Just was there. Matt K, Vin, Lenny, Boomer, HV, Storm, SW, Rookie. Uh, how do I say this one? Uh, I'm just gonna leave that one alone. <laughs> Kavi, Vinzen, Noah, Racer, Joe. Uh, good morning, Matic, WD. Good morning, Oil, TR. Good morning, SW Rookie. Good morning, Anderson. Funny, funny aholic. Nice to see you. Forward, Lido, Dijon, Adam. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Joel, Rafal, Reading Group. Alejandro, Kirk, Bird, KRB, Pete, Quinn, good morning, Joe, John, Joel, Jay, good morning, G-Lines, Angelo, good morning, good morning. How's everybody doing out there? Do me a quick favor, we got about 400 people in here, let's go ahead and smash that lucky like button. We have a fun day ahead of us today, it is the eve, it is the eve of FOMC. Tomorrow, if you've never traded FOMC before, it will be a lot of fun, we might trade that on YouTube, we'll definitely be trading in the Discord, we might trade it on the YouTube channel here depending on uh if we get that uh, demand or not good morning angus uh so yeah the uh the album c tomorrow is going to be a lot of fun if you want to be notified when we go live just make sure you are subscribed and notifications turn on in case we do go live in here right now we are kind of pushing up off of this 118.50 level back in towards this inefficiency to the top side here so we'll have to see whether or not that wants to trade up there we did have the bank of japan rate decision overnight is the first time that they raised rates and believe uh i think over a decade i'm pretty sure anybody correct me on that i think it's the first time they've raised rates in over a decade uh what time is fomc tomorrow uh it's at 2 30 uh 2 2 p.m and then 2 30 is the press conference 17 years wow so almost two decades thank you there alec thank you hoop yeah wow so two decades almost my goodness gracious <laughs> can you believe that uh, so they went from negative interest rates and um, they moved away also from their yield curve, yield curve control, their YCC. And the uh, overnight call rate is going to be targeting 0 to 0.1%. And the 0.1% interest rate is going to be applied to all of their reserves now at the BOJ. Um, they are going to end uh, their, their REIT program, the Japanese REIT program and the ETF repurchase program. Uh, not repurchase, but purchase program. And um, they're phasing out their acquisition of commercial paper and corporate bonds as well uh, over this next year. So very interesting reaction overnight on that. We did have a perk and a fade. And uh, it's been it's been really, really interesting to see this kind of trading in the overnight session here and seeing, uh, you know, just kind of a, a mixed reaction in the NQ. I know that um, Coach Dakota was talking about trading it in um in slow markets and he even went for an extra hour but unfortunately the boj waited and waited and i think i was in bed when they gave their decision and i uh, pulled out my phone and i let the group know you know that uh that's that's what happened so um they're gonna intend to continue their uh their current level of jgbs which is the uh, government bonds for japan that they're gonna maintain that purchase rate that they've had um, to accommodate the monetary environment for the foreseeable future, and um, they're going to be uh, they're going to be looking at that as kind of like their flexible way to keep things going, and uh, yeah, it's just really interesting to see that. It's the first time in 17 years, like you saw Hoop and uh, others were talking about there. 
Rips, 159 is what we need to make for the 150K combine, right? Does this mean I clear the combine? It does. Congratulations there, man, Preet. <laughs> Give it up for man, Preet, here in the Discord. Passing, uh, how many combines? Is that your first, first combine that you've ever passed? Wow, first time. Give it up. That's what I'm talking about. Way to go. Yeah, a ton of cash heading back to Japan. Yeah, 0.1%. What an interest rate, right? <laughs> Pretty wild there. Congratulations there, man. What a feeling. That's got to feel great. That's awesome. What was the trade that made you pass it there? Was it that uh, little Percocito from the downside there? We're jamming out to some 112, and it coincided with the uh, the 112 area that we were watching in the NQ, by the way. Big area of liquidity there at 112. was some peaches and some cream there. Nice, man, Preet. Way to go. Caught it out on that Percocito to the top side there. Buenos dias, Rips. Buenos dias at D. Uh, passed all five 50k combines yesterday. Give it up for Cryogenic here. Very, very nice. Rips, what is the inefficiency interval on your charts? How do you define it? I talk about that. Uh, there's a couple different things that have to meet, but it's a three candle pattern where the uh, topping wicks and bottoming wicks of candle one and three do not touch, and it leaves a gap in between. There's your inefficiency right there. That's how I passed mine too. Nice work, Pre. Yeah, Nate Dog passing as well. Love to see that. Folks are on fire in here. <laughs> Myself, I haven't taken any trades. Go back to Ninja Trade here. Look at all my buttons are working again. Beautiful. And <laughs> book map looks empty. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's what happens when you have a big old fall there. But yeah, we haven't taken any trades yet. Um, I do have a combine locked and loaded here, ready to go. Um, I do want to see if we do have any movement on the 830 news. It's not big news that's going to be coming out, but we do have some U.S. news alongside some Canadian news. So at 8.30, which is in 23 short minutes, we do have the, excuse me, we do have the uh, February building permits and February housing starts for the U.S. And then the Canadian CPI data is coming out uh, at 8.30 alongside those data points. So Canadian CPI could be interesting, um, but then the, the housing starts and building permits probably won't shake up the market all too much given that we had some housing data, the uh, housing price index or housing market index yesterday. So I can't imagine that it's going to be too crazy. Nice work there, Big Sexy, at 530 bucks. Way to go there. That's what I'm talking about. We also have the Red Book Retail Sales, uh, aka nobody gives a flip about those uh, at 8.55 today. The day that the Red Book Retail Sales actually moved the market again, I swear, they used to move the market like two years ago or a year ago. But now the Red Book Retail Sales, nobody cares. <laughs> I think we have a 13-year bond auction, but the big one today is gonna be the 20-year bond auction. Do we have a 13-year reopening? Good golly, I just, I mean, I thought we did, but it's not on my schedule for some reason. Let me see, 52-week uh, bill. I thought we had a 13-year, I guess not. Rips, do you think all in today will be more quiet as most wait for FOMC? That's a good question there, S. Wilson. I do think that we will have a little bit of a mix. Um, we probably will see some positional trades going off, uh, guys, by the news. So I think that most of the large position trades will be on at 1 p.m. today, kind of uh, mixed in with that 20-year uh, bond auction. Uh, we also have a 52-week bill auction that is going to be at 11.30. But for some reason, I thought we had a 13-year reopening. I don't know where that, uh, maybe it's in a different country, but I, I'm totally wrong about that. But the big one today is the 20-year. 20-year bond auction at 1 p.m. today. Could it possibly be a range date? Yeah, I mean, again, like I said, 1 p.m. is where I think we're gonna see a lot of cards laid on the table because a lot of folks are gonna use that sort of as an excuse to put liquidity somewhere. We're also gonna be hearing from Jensen Wong who has a CNBC interview at some time this morning. So he's gonna be on CNBC talking to Jim Cramer. So I guess that means that Nvidia is going straight to zero. And uh, if Jim Cramer is gonna recommend that, but. Yeah, right now we are just kind of uh, skittering onto the downside. We rejected 118 halves to the top side there. We've tried to find some liquidity there. But surprisingly, I mean, surprisingly or unsurprisingly, given that FOMC is tomorrow. I mean, if you've never traded FOMC tomorrow, it's the big one. This is this is the doozy of the, uh, I mean, of the year. This is the big one because this is, this is actually uh, an FOMC where they're releasing the dot plot, which is doesn't happen every FOMC meeting. The last time we saw that was in December. Uh, we just had an FOMC meeting and it didn't have a dot plot. So uh, it could be very, very interesting to see uh, what that means moving forward. And we're going to be looking out for that all day tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be kind of anticipating what that's going to be. See if there's any signatures left in the tape, which will kind of guide our hand any which way there. 
Uh, good morning, Rips. Any advice for the XFA? I seem to pass the 150K and get to the XFA, but I can't keep it for more than three days. Three days? Whoa, slow down, Dylan. Uh, I get up to 12K in the XFA and go on a losing streak and blow it. I mean, if you're getting up to 12K within three days, you're probably trading it a little bit too risky and too hot and heavy. Uh, you want to be aiming for, you know, little bite-sized pieces of profit there. I mean, I would set your sights lower. If you're getting it up to 12K in three days, that means that you're slamming it. So I would say that that's probably where your problem lies. And I would say tool it back a little bit, bring it down, slow down a little bit. Because if you're going to go hot and heavy into it, it's big risk, big reward. Big risk goes both ways. So I would say that you're probably pressing the gas a little bit too hard, which can work from time to time. But if you're concerned about losing it and you know you don't have combines waiting in the wings, yeah, then I would say slow your roll and don't trade any. Uh, don't trade anything that's too crazy. Only trade three contracts. I mean, three contracts. Maybe the the frequency of the the trades that you're taking. You're probably taking too many trades if you're blowing it in three days. And I mean, three contracts can can add up pretty quickly in the NQ. So tool it down to one or two contracts or trade. Uh, you know, the micros instead. I've been wanting to watch Jim Cramer's interview with Jon Stewart for years, but I seem to have disappeared off the internet. I can never find it. Um, oh, yeah, did they scrub that? That's the one where he talks about how hedge funds uh, screw people over. Yeah, that's somewhere floating around there. Rip, yesterday I passed my 50K combine while you're trading, so I copy your moves, and I guess because I made 22.38 of fake money, now they're telling me to do more fake money uh, thoughts. Well, I mean, the, the profit target on the 50 K is $1,500. If you exceed $1,500, all you have to do is flip contracts. You got the whole day to flip those contracts. So anytime that you're above that 50% target, you need to just flip contracts. So, I mean, if you're, uh, you just got to know that on the 50 K, if you're above $1,500, you got to lose money. And if you're on the hundred K it's above Two thousand dollars? Yeah, above two thousand dollars, and then the one fifty k. Is it two thousand or twenty? Is it three thousand? Now I can't remember. I never trade the hundred k account. That's why I know so little about it. But on the one fifty k account, the maximum profit you can make in a single day on the one fifty k account is uh, forty five hundred dollars. So if you're above forty five hundred dollars, you want to lose some money. And uh, same thing goes for you know on the I think it's three thousand is the profit target. Yeah, three thousand. Thank you, Yacht Flyer. So yeah, don't uh, don't make more than that. There's no pride in making more than that unless you want to make more in the future. So, uh, you know, tool it down a little bit. Stops of adding the DAX features. DAX or DAX? I don't know about DAX. Maybe the DAX. Uh, Rips, do you think we're going to 18,000? Uh, you know, we have levels uh, looking down towards that way. Let's see here. Uh, we would have to gap this 71 level. I mean, 71 should be a nice little backstop. If we break through that level, it's going to be some nice moves to the downside there. Uh, speaking of, I'm going to be on uh, I'm going to be on Top Step TV today in about an hour from now, so we do have some time to spend together. I would like to do some giveaways today, so if we do get to, I'm going to leave the benchmark somewhat low. If we get up to uh, 1,100 likes, we'll give away a free combine, Top Step combine. Hey, Ribs, why does this stream keep stopping for commercials? Don't have this problem when watching on Top Step TV. I don't know. Get uh, get YouTube Premium. Not so sure about that. How many contracts should I trade in micros? Depends on what size account that you're trading there. Thank you there, Travis. So 150K is 4,500, 100K is 3,000, 50K is $1,500 there. Morning, how do you handle revenge trading? Uh, it was a thing that I used to do a lot, actually, consistent trader. Used to struggle with revenge trading often, and uh, I had to find ways around it. For me personally, it was a physical tell that I had, and it was hot behind my ears. When I felt hot behind my ears, I would jump out of my seat, turn off my trading terminal, whatever it was. If I was trading Dash Trader, or I mean Thinkorswim, or whatever I was trading on Ninja Trader, I'd jump out of my chair, shut it down, and walk away from my screen because I could feel the physical tell, and it would be hot behind my ears. And there'd be nothing that would be coming good from that. There's really nothing good that comes from doing any action that's out of the pocket. And that could be revenge trading, tilt trading, trading with anger, trading with uh, uh, desperation. All of these things lead to nowhere good because if you do end up getting a good trade through that, it reinforces those bad habits and it tricks your brain to say, hey, the last time that I was in this precarious situation, I wanna do the same thing again. And it's really hard to break that bond in your brain if you continue to repeat bad habits and good things happen to you. So try to stop those as soon as possible. It takes a long time to unlearn those things. It took me a long time to unlearn those things for myself. So our mood rings good. Uh, <laughs> yes, they're, they're a key 
integral part of trading. You should always be wearing a mood ring and seeing <laughs> what it is, as well as consulting your magic eight ball. I play cards. I'll remember that. Tell <laughs> yeah. We'll play in uh, we'll play in Vegas. If you ever see see my ears steaming, then you know I'm on tilt there. Uh, that's where the lockout button helps on tops of X. Amen. There you go. That's it right there. Does revenge trading come from taking P and L as a target? What should be my target in that case? I mean, that's a that's oddly specific, but no. I mean, revenge trading can come from all different forms, right? If you feel that the market owes you something and then it doesn't give you what you want, you can get on tilt and start revenge trading. If you lose money, you can start revenge trading. If you make money, you could start revenge trading. It's it's all sorts of different things. Is there a rule for the amount of time for a trade to last? I scalp and if I'm up 15 ticks and I get out pretty quickly, you can do whatever you want. There's only really one rule. Don't hit, hit your maximum daily loss limit for the day. That's it. Is there a similar lockout to Ninja Trader desktop? No, um, you can. You have to get the, what is that stuff that people share in here? It's like called icicles or something like ice me out or <laughs> what's that software called? Ice block, <laughs> cold turkey, there you go. Way, way off. <laughs> yeah, get cold turkey, there you go. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, I'm almost out of my penalty box from revenge trading the start of the year. There you go, Carl. Yeah, it takes time. I mean, the more you give into those feeble emotions, the harder it is to bounce back from it. It takes a long time to unlearn all of those things, which is very unfortunate there. <laughs> mood rings make you money depending on your mood if you're mad only go for short plates of happy go long oh my goodness yeah exactly saw you were on last night live and breathe trading action no sleep needed never we never sleep around here <laughs> samsonite i was way off <laughs> yeah mood rings for traders it's that's perfect we need that it's gonna be like uh it'll have like bluetooth connectivity there Definitely is hard to stop. I've stopped to look, I have to stop looking at charts for the day altogether. I will go back. Yeah, I mean, it's we all have different levels of our uh, relationship with trading. You know, some people where they can say, you know what, I'm very disciplined. I can lock myself out, and then they never come back and they trade and they can watch. Uh, they can watch the market. They can look at charts, no problem. But then there's some people where. If you're sitting in front of your computer and you're, the market's open and you've told yourself, I don't wanna trade for the rest of the day, you might not be able to handle that. So everybody's different. Just don't open the door to bad habits because it's really easy to fall into them if you're not very disciplined. I didn't learn discipline until I had to go through a lot of pain and it was the pain that created the discipline because I realized that there was no other choice for me. I, I could either continue doing what I was doing and think I was better than what was going on and I could continue losing money or I could step up and say, I gotta make some changes. I have to do something physical, you know, removing myself physically from the situation or walking away from my screen, shutting down my terminal. There's a lot of different ways to do it, but it's really up to you to be pulling the trigger on those actions where, you know, nobody's gonna force you to download cold turkey. Nobody's gonna force you to press that stop button on top step X. Nobody's gonna force you to use your phone to do a shot clock. Nobody's gonna force you to do any of these things. It's really up to you. You have to learn to be your best teammate in trading because really outside of, you know, if you have a community of people who are, you know, all like-minded like we have in Clubhouse here, but, you know, if, if you don't have that, you're kind of at your own peril and you're, you're, you can be your own worst enemy. I was my own worst enemy for a very long time and I couldn't figure out how to beat it. And it wasn't until I had traumatic losses and things that happened where, you know, I was, I was in a position where, I just couldn't take the pain anymore. I, I hated it. I woke up every single morning. I hated trading. I couldn't stand sitting in front of my screens. It, it got to be very, very painful. And I had to take a break from it because I didn't think I was ever gonna come back to trading. And that break changed everything. I came back and I said, well, if I really want this to work, I gotta make some serious changes. And it wasn't until I got to that point where the pain outweighed my choice of whether or not I wanted to be disciplined. And I was confronted with the choice. If I actually want this to work, I have to be disciplined. And then I, I grew up basically. I basically put on my big boy pants and said, all right, let's make this work. And I started making realistic changes and I stopped succumbing to my own emotions and saying, oh, well, I can, I can still beat it. I can beat this. No, you can't. You got to get up. You got to walk away. You got to do things different. You got to try different things. Rips the new fruit punch Celsius is good. Yeah, cosmic vibe. It's, it is delicious. <laughs> Uh, that little level worked out quite fine. Missed it. Nah, you know, there's going to be plenty more. Plenty more. Don't worry about it. 
Uh, the Ura ring costs five hundred dollars. It better work. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what kind of is it really going to give you five hundred dollars worth of value? <laughs> you know, come on. The interview where you speak about self mastery always sticks with me. Yeah, I mean, you can either learn the long way or the short way. The short way is listening to people who've been through the pain before. And I didn't listen to that. I, I mean, I read books. I, I went through the process and I was always in the back of my mind. I was always like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm different. I can do different. You know, I can be better than this. I can beat it. And then I'd come into the market with a lot of anger and frustration. And it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. You actually have to make changes. And it comes down to like, you know, being your best friend, being your best ally, being your best boss, being your best coworker, however you want to look at it, being the best captain of the ship and being somebody you can rely on. Because anything else I consider lying to yourself. You know, if you're like, hey, yeah, you know, we got this. I don't really have a plan, but we got this. We're going to figure this out. And then before you know it, you're in a trade and you can't trust yourself because you've been lying to yourself and you get too sized up and you're doing things that you promised yourself you wouldn't do. And before you know it, you're either blowing accounts or having big blow up days or you're having huge loss days and you're doing things that are outside of your wheelhouse that you know you shouldn't be doing. And this comes to a level where I say it's either lying to yourself or you're losing trust in yourself. You can't trust yourself in a position. And uh, it's it's a very terrible thing with trading and there's really no room for it. It's it's black and white, it's stop and go. It's it's A or B, you, you can either continue what you're doing and think that you will eventually beat it and you'll probably get knocked out of the game or so emotionally tired out that it just can't continue or you pick B and you say, I'm going to make some realistic changes. I'm going to be able to trust myself. For me, it was getting into a relationship where I could actually trust myself in my trades, where I wasn't afraid that all of a sudden I'm going to fly off the rails and do something I shouldn't be doing. And, uh, you know, it took a while for me to get there. But I feel that if you're listening to people who've been through that, the fire and the flame of that journey, and you actually step up and you start to make those own changes in your own trading, you can benefit greatly from it. Uh, good morning, Rips. Just woke up to an overnight $500 win on CL Coach Dakota at night. Rips for the open. There we go, Jim. That's what I'm talking about. Don't be a garbage boss and a ditch digger. My favorite ripism. Ripsism. I love that. Yeah. Ditch diggers. I hate that. I hated that. Oh, I was the worst at that. All the work that you create your, for yourself in the future. And it's like, you know, you're, you're just like in this. For me, it was like seeing red or like you're just kind of like blacking out. And you're just doing things and then. The hangover happens and you're like, what did I do that for? What the heck was I thinking? A lot of the times for me, it was driven by tilt and anger. And yeah, I do a lot of damage that would take weeks to repair, or, you know, multiple sessions to repair. It would just be terrible. Uh, it's why 90% fail. Yeah, it's it's against human nature a lot of the time. We like to solve things. We, we live in the Amazon Prime society. We want to overnight solve things. So, you know, you start having a red day and instead of saying, ah, you know what? I'm out of the pocket. I'm going to lock it up. You go, let's start digging. Let's go deeper. Thank goodness that Top Step has a maximum daily loss limit, especially in XFAs, because that saves a lot of people, saves me from time to time. You know, obviously we're all human. We're not perfect. We're all trying to work towards a common goal here, which is to be the best of the best. But, you know, we're we're sometimes infallible to these these uh, emotions. We succumb to these emotions that can control us from time to time. And it's tough to really get a handle on those sometimes you can be on weeks and weeks of tilt and lie to yourself that you're not on tilt and you keep on making the same old dang mistakes and it's difficult it's a very difficult thing you have to you have to be honest with yourself and this is why i always recommend you know journaling journaling as much as you can this is where you have that honest conversation with yourself by the way we are dropping down below those 97 halves here i do kind of want to see if we can Get short here in a combine. I would have liked to see that bump up above those 97 halves a little bit more here. S&Ps are just very, very weak. So let's see on this little pump back up here if we have anything worth shorting into. What is a ditch digger? It's somebody who continually uh, digs ditches in their trading. So you're going out of whack and you're just continually piling on losses and losses that you eventually have to fill back later just to get, to get back to baseline and try to short here just to get back to baseline before you even started digging those ditches, right? So we're targeting 71 here to the downside. Let's see if we pop, pop back above these 90s at all. And if we do, I wanna try to add into that. Doesn't look like we're going to. And I wanna do a little add here if we do. Right here, like 91 halves, whoop, that jumped down. So targeting that 71 to the downside here. This is in a top step combine, 150K combine. 
Yeah, it looks like uh, we're getting a, a nice rollover in a lot of stuff here. Seeing some uh, some offers. Let's see if we get a little ad here at 90 and three quarters. Still kind of uh, tooling on here to the downside, watching here. Apple's kind of at this low point too, where if it breaks this, we do have room in Apple, which should cause this to roll. Nvidia's rolling as well here. See if we can get this fill here up at 90 and three quarters. If they don't fill me, I'm just gonna add here. Watching. Yeah, Google's at a, a point too. If this breaks in Google, then we could see some nice downside as well. Uh, short from 165, nice there, Mikal. Very, very nice. We didn't get our ad there, so let me make this. There we go, so we can see everything. So we have room up to 97 halves for a nice uh, ad there. Unfortunately, we didn't get the ad that we're looking for. Let's see if we can pop back up any more here at all watching. Do have uh, the news coming out in three minutes, so I would like to be sort of trimmed down in the position by the time the news comes out. Yeah, we're gonna have a Canadian CPI as well. So that can shake things up a little bit here. I'm gonna add a third lot to that. We're not getting up to my 90 and three quarters and I want to see us pierce right through these 80s to the downside. Yeah, Google, Apple, both at these levels where if this breaks to the downside, it's going to snap with a lot of violence here. I think that we have room all the way down. I mean, we have some liquidity that's resting at 80s. So I think that we'll grab that. It'd be nice to grab that fourth lot here if we get this little perk. Building permits in two minutes now. Still can't get that fourth lot on. So less than two minutes. Let's see if we get this breakdown in these 80s. There's that snap towards 80s. Some liquidity uh, being front ran there at, what was that, 83 quarters. Some big chunky liquidity. <laughs> so I guess we'll take off that ad there. And I think that we'll get a push into these 80s here. 90 seconds till the data. I'm actually gonna cover two on the bid here. There's the uh, cover for two. Move my stop just to break even. So we have realized 314 bucks on that trade. I don't know what your exit point is for the trade, just watching the liquidity. Uh, but 71 is our next level here. So that would be the ultimate target. Contact the support, but it's just a bot. Yeah, they'll reach out to you. You, you fill out the form, and then once they uh, read what your support request is, then a human will write into you and solve all of your, your troubles. When price was trading at about 115, it was unable to push into that prior area of consolidation. That's not a setup in your toolbox, correct? Um, I like that, but uh, we're gabbing away about psychology. So you know, I had no plans of trading in XFA. Put on a combine trade here. I'll get stopped out on this remaining lot. Nice, Carl got it. Nice. 10 seconds here. <laughs> Let's see if we get a drop. Likely we'll get stopped out here, but I'm here for it. Here we go. There's the stop. 1.5 a million for housing starts. Wow. It's higher than the uh, 1.44 million expectation. Building permits at 1.51 million. I mean, that looked like a liquidity grab there to the top side. Personally, that's what I'm seeing there. Microsoft week, meta week. Uh, we're failing these 80s again. 
And we're currently sitting up uh, 306 bucks in one top step combine here. We'll let this print kind of juice around here a little bit. Pass an eval with that push to 80. Nice work there, Caleb. Let's go. <laughs> gate closing. Gate closing. Final call for all bulls. <laughs> Are they boarding the rocket ship? <laughs> Some reason the, uh, the market wants to rally on those housing starts, which I think is kind of silly, but... Canadian CPI coming in at 0.3% month over month. That is three tenths lower than the 0.6% expectation year over year at 2.8. That is within target for the second straight month. We're back up at these 97 halves. This is the level that we're watching right here. So let's see if this is a little bit of a liquidity grab there. The Canadian dollar got smoked. Yeah, I mean, Coming in cooler than expected like that, right? Let's see, hundreds are trading here. Watching. Tough to call it here. We're right above those 97 halves. You have room all the way up to 118.50 which is where there's a lot of liquidity. I'm gonna try a little bit of a long here. I'm gonna bring a stop in pretty tight right there. We do have liquidity all the way up here to 110. So I'm kind of looking for a quicker scalp up here. And a little bit of liquidity here. Nice perk up. And I'm gonna cover that right there. So that brings us up to 517 there on a quick little one lot scalp. Nice uh, big candle there on that 30 second bar. So from there to there. Nice little perk up there, had some liquidity resting all the way up at 115 that they wanted to tickle tickle. So I'm grabbing that there. Let's go, I caught something similar, but smaller size. Nice work there, Luna, let's go. Nice exit there, almost the tippy top. Is Bookmark available in Tops of X? No, no, you gotta, gotta pay to play. <laughs> it's a, it's a, one of those things there that you gotta. This is a fun little roller coaster that this thing is creating. A little loop de lose, couple corkscrews, inverted uh, something rather's. Uh, so OB, OBP here, check this out. If you want Bookmap, there's a 20% discount on it. Bookmarks available at bars. <laughs> Did I say book? Oh, he said, <laughs> he or she said, is bookmark available in top set? Book map, book map. <laughs> Bookmarks are available at Barnes and Noble. Oh, yeah, Flyer. Got him. <laughs> I was watching book map and looking at price action. Couldn't break the 80s, so I went long. Nice work there, Celsius lover. Nice job. Look at that. 30 micros. Give it up for Celsius Lover over here. Are those uh those are PAs or are you just passing accounts left and right over here? Which is it? Passing accounts, yeah. Very nice. Caught that short on the pop, scaling like ribs. Boom. Nice work, Trader Joe. Hey. That's what I'm talking about. Love that. So yeah, I mean. Uh, market wanted to rally. I think it's rallying more on the CPI data. We did run into the nine EMA in the S and P's there. Quick check over in the S and P's. Looking like uh, we still have some liquidity, some unfinished business up there at fifty one ninety eight. But whoever's up there, really think I think they want that covered. They went from here to here to here. So somebody wants to get covered. So they might just. Start peeling off. That's the other, yeah, I don't want to get into that, but that's going to be in the more, uh, we're going to talk about that with the book map momentum webinar. I don't want to get off on a tangent here, but yeah, that's a nice little signature to see there. Same thing goes for uh, in the NQ. Surprise, surprise. Same thing. Fair value gap 173. On which time frame are we looking at there, Julius? Uh, 173, this one up here or what, uh, what time frame? Why was the 80 level important to you? I'm guessing that's for Celsius over there. Five minute, let's see. Owns the five minute. 
What do we got here? From there to there, from there to there, or from there to there, talking about that. I'd like, uh, you know, I, I would rather observe what we have on the 15 minute first and then kind of go from there. I think that we have a chance of if we clear above 118 halves that we can push into that inefficiency there to the top side. So that's what I'd be watching. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather observe it at the 50 minute and uh, potentially charge into that inefficiency. And then the, the ultimate trade would be a nice rejection from there. Well, why is my drawing tool never work when I want it? There we go, from there to there. That would be the, uh, the ultimate easy setup of the day right there. Driving to that bearish order block and a nice little rejection there. Uh, but knowing that we do have some resting liquidity a touch higher there, you know, essentially there's a small gap of liquidity but yeah we'll see uh it's gonna really be about what the uh, levels are saying up there at 195 quarters so we are uh kind of rejecting those 118 halves right now just looking back over here at book map we still have not seen this push into where this liquidity is resting up here just yet do you think we can enter uh 728 924 daily fair value gap tomorrow after the speech i mean I don't know what he's gonna say. He could say that they're gonna cut rates tomorrow, right? What if they cut rates tomorrow? Then the answer is absolutely not. What if they say that we're not gonna cut rates for the rest of the year? Then we're gonna barrel to the downside. You can't predict that stuff. That's crazy town. PA money, need to work on my main job today. So have a nice day, good trading, stay calm and cool. Nice work there, Mr. Kofifi. Give it up for Mr. Kofifi in here. Nice job. Love to see that. Look how much liquidity there was. There you go. Yeah, so there you go. Celsius lover talking about those 80s. Morning, Pat. Good to see you. Uh, Rips, did you pay for your Rhythmic through PayPal via email? Uh, no. Uh, let me send you the link here. I mean, you can, but I used good old-fashioned credit card. <laughs> Let's see here. There it is. I'll get you the link. There you go, O'Keefe, that's where you want to buy it. Straight through Bookmap. There you go, all right. Remove that little preview there. But great trading there, Kofi. Yeah, again, look at this. We aren't uh, accepting the auction above 118 halves there. And we did have, you know, I was talking about there's that level on Google and Apple. Let me see if I can bring this up, actually. So this is the level that I was looking at right here where we wanted to see that breakthrough, right? If we broke through that level to the downside, we're targeting like, you know, this liquidity down here, then we'd have a nice little roll. It still can happen, of course, but I was looking for it there and now to get that break. And the same thing goes for Google and check out Google's chart. Same type of thing here. <laughs> right to our level, imagine that. Like magic, amazing. There we have it. So, CAD rate cut odds up 75% now for June from 50% prefigure. Yeah, I think that uh, cooler than expected CPI read will definitely do a doozy. And again, you know, it's, it's one of those things where it's like the Fed has FOMC tomorrow and now that's probably going to play into it. It's anybody's ball game at this point. I mean, it really is about the SCP dot plot. They could be, they could be putting the final touches on it right now. I mean, I doubt it, but they could be. Right now, we are kind of holding this, uh, any kind of scoop low. We haven't really auctioned back into 18,100 here, so we are kind of holding this scoop low. If you are enjoying the stream, folks, please do me that favor. Please hit that thumbs up button. It's a lucky like button. I don't make the rules, but I heard that if you hit that like button, you will get a green day today. I just, I mean, it could be just coincidental, but we only have 379 likes in here. We do, uh, if we get 500 likes, we'll do a poll. We get to 1,100 likes, I'm giving away a top step combine. I've decided. So 1,500 of you folks in here, just go down right there. Smash that like button. Smash it as hard as you can. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then we do a giveaway. It's just that simple. I mean, you don't like free stuff? Hey, I don't know what to tell you. It's, it's free to like. It's, it's very easy. Just click that button and we start giving away free combines in here. And we're not talking about, I mean, this is not like, you can pick any platform. You can trade on NinjaTrader, Quant Tower, Top Step. Uh, I mean, maybe not Top Step X, but 
uh, Quant Tower, Ninja Trader, Book Map, uh, Atos, Motive Wave, all the all the platforms. All right, so let's see. We got to 561. Let's do a poll. Will the the NQ end of the day up or down? Up, down. There we go. All right, vote away in the poll. Let's see how accurate you folks are. Will the NQ end the day up or down? And your votes are anonymous, so please vote with honesty here. Ribs, how does YouTube chat recognize us as members through email? Um, I don't know. Somehow, some way. <laughs> I have no idea. A great question. I have no clue. It's like tied into the, uh, the night bot. I don't know. I have no idea. Because my YouTube account is through another email? Hmm. I don't know. I, I honestly, I have no idea. It's it just does its own magic, does its own thing. Rips, what do you charge for a one on one? Two hundred billion dollars per minute. Uh, it's free. I don't charge a dang thing. I'm unlike other people who who make you uh, pay for all that stuff. It's free. One on one for me is free as long as you're a member in the clubhouse. You get the access to the booking page. You book a meeting, and then we have a one on one. We do a personalized, tailored uh, trailing trailing <laughs> trailing trading plan just for you just for you and we uh we work out a whole plan tailored to your specific needs everybody's at a different stage in their journey uh like yesterday i was speaking to a person who's been trading for a decade and their trading uh plan was very different from somebody who i had spoken to yesterday who had been trading for you know two years it's completely different for everybody and so i created a tailored plan to fit whoever is chatting in for their specific needs and that's it that is YouTube members, so a member in Clubhouse might not get the lucky chance if I'm right. Yeah, I don't know. It's Nightbot does its own thing. What's a good AI company is a good one to invest in, in your opinion, of course? NVIDIA. I mean, that's kind of NVIDIA, Google, Meta. I mean, all of them, Microsoft. <laughs> uh, I mean, Google, a Apple's now talking about Google, so, you know. It's free plus, plus a fee. I mean, it's there's, there's some uh, rooms that I know of where it's like, you know, you pay uh, five hundred dollars a month, and then you want to book a one-on-one. -on -one, it's fifteen hundred dollars for an hour-long session. Like, yeah, I'm, I don't do that. MP said, "Top Step X is coming out April for everyone." That's what I heard there, Vibe Trade Channel. I heard the exact same thing. I will be trading alongside MP this morning, I believe, on Fast Markets if he does make it. One-on-one -on -one with Rips is awesome. Oh yeah, we had a good one, right? That was fun. That was a. Uh, uh, we, we definitely came up with some solid plans for you there. Three generations of hair. What is the mental framework to come out of a losing streak? I mean, if you, if you take a break, it's super helpful. If you just take a break away from the markets, I mean, it kind of, it defines discipline and it draws a line in the sand that says, I'm bigger than this. The markets don't control me. I mean, it's, it does a lot psychologically. Just taking a break, not talking about like a one day break. It's Tuesday today. If you're like on a losing streak, if you can take... Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, off from the market on FOMC week, you've told the, uh, you've, you pretty much put your, your foot down. You said, I'm in control here. I'm, I'm the one with discipline and the market doesn't control me. So that, I mean, doing stuff like that, it rewires and rejiggers things around in your brain where it's very, very helpful. <laughs> Sweet, I'll get out of here. Uh, yeah, we did hit 12,000 subs here, by the way, on the YouTube channel. Let's go. Look at that rejection, by the way, right there, 118 halves. I should have been paying attention to that. Anybody catch that rejection there? I mean, look at that. Beautiful. 118 halves, beautiful rejection, tapped in. DK England, ta happy Taco Tuesday, same to you. Consistent, got it, Vikrant, nice work there. Nice, look at that crowd, Jenna got it. Bob Sacamano, the world famous trader from the CME. <laughs> Bob Sacamano got it. Congrats. Thank you, Dana. Thank you. Thank you. I was going to, but had to hit the head. Yeah, I got to hit the restroom pretty soon here. We're coming in close to that 9 a.m. hour. Let's get those likes up. Come on. I want to give away free tops up combine. We only need, we only need what? 500, 480 more. 480 more likes. There's 1,500 people watching. Let's do it. Come on. Let's give away a free, uh, <laughs> let's give away free tops up combine. Come on. Make this easy for me. In at 150, out at 007. Nice work there, Future Mamba. What time frame do I execute on? Five-minute chart. I uh, use a 15-minute, which is this one over here that you're seeing. 
I use that chart to kind of plan things out and I execute on a five minute. And then you see a 30 second chart over here so you can see each one of my entries, right? Boop, boop, boop. Short, short, short. Cover, long cover. Boopity boop, there you go. 700, we are only, what is that? 400 likes away now, only 400 likes away. Oh my goodness, so close. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Hey, good morning there, Fernando. Hey, man, can you do a video specifically on how you read bookmap? I do. I have a, a couple. And we're working on a, a momentum trading one as well. But, you know, the easiest way to see that, quickest, easiest way, is right here. Click the link that Nightbot gives you. Come in, check it out for seven days. It's practically free. And uh, then cancel. <laughs> Come in. Binge watch all the webinars and then just cancel. Simple as that. There you go. There's all the webinars that we have. But come in, pay the $7, binge watch all the webinars, and then take off. There you go. Seven bucks, seven days. There you go. Does the like button important? Yes, it does important. Bookmap tutorial on YouTube is great as well. Yes, exactly. I mean, if, you, if you've never, if you want to learn how to read Bookmap, just go on YouTube, search Bookmap, and go to their official channel. There you go. More brains are better than one to learn something or readjust, but I found listening to too many people while actively trading can hurt you, like too many indicators, thoughts. I like to keep my charts clean. I used to come from a place where my uh, chart would be covered in indicators and I could barely even see the price, the underlying price. And uh, yeah, I stopped doing that. I, I learned that less is more when it comes to indicators. I just like levels, VWAP, and uh, volume profiles, really, if I'm looking at a bar chart. That's kind of what I have set up over here, you know, levels. You know, I draw on my charts, but as far as indicators go, VWAP, visible range volume profile with these settings right here. You can go back and pause the video if you like my settings. Everybody's different though. Some people don't like those settings. But some people like to have the split volume and all that, but yeah, stuff like that. Keeping your charts clean. Uh, which daily questions are your favorite? The, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't mind answering questions. Everybody thinks that I, I hate answering the questions. I like the questions, it's fun. <laughs> I'm reading Google Maps perfectly. <laughs> just don't pull a Michael Scott and run right into a run, drive off of a dock there. What's your average tick risk per trade? Um, well, so good question, Richard. Uh, I use a 60 tick stop, but I'm often moving it almost right away. I like to move it out of area around areas of the structures. I'm going from a, I, I look for a minimum 1.5 reward to risk ratio, 1.5 to one. That's what I'm looking for minimum. Does it always work out that way? No. Uh, and then sometimes, like if I'm super focused on the tape, you'll see me put on a trade and the stop will be like way down here. But like, that's I, that's not a real stop. Like I'm, I'm gonna pull myself out of the trade because I'm just, I'm hyper focused on the tape. I'm not worried about dragging a, an arbitrary stop. If I'm gonna, if I'm like focused, locked in on the tape, I'm gonna cover the position, you know, if it doesn't work into my favor. So there's some times where I'll be trading and you'll see a stop like way down here. Price action's like in between this little gap right there. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trading in between that. And then like, if it breaks that to the downside, I'm just gonna flatten my position, even though my stop is down there. It's just, it's dependent on the price action, dependent on the trade, depending on what I'm looking for. We're pushing back up to 118 and halves here again. We just couldn't sell below hundreds, crazy. <laughs> Favorite question has to be the red and blue lines. You know, if it ever gets to me so much that uh, I can't, can't deal with it anymore, I'm just gonna take off the hourly high and hourly low of the chart. <laughs> Agreed, I was more listening to listening to other traders while trading, you know, everybody's different. You know, some people can't deal with it. You know, some people like to have that because it's like, you know, you're kind of in your zone and then if the person you're listening to is like, oh, hey, I'm looking for a long here and then you're also thinking like, hey, I'm taking a long here. You know, that kind of confluence is helpful for some people, but you know, some people like to trade in silence. Everybody's different. Some people like to trade with music, with no music. Uh, some people like to trade alone with a group. Uh, they like to bounce ideas off each other. Some people just like to, you know, be alone. Everybody's different, right? Everybody's different. Uh, favorite question, why can't you hit the like button too? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Emergency stop in case of any surprise news events. Yeah, I mean, if, if, if I'm trading like into a news event, we just did that and we put our stop right at break even and we got stopped out. If I was trading that in a live account, I probably would have had my stop a little bit lower because it's a live account and I don't wanna you know, have too much slippage, but we're trading in a combine account there and so it's a simulated trade. I don't really care. We're not gonna, you know, it's not gonna blow through and like fill our stop like 10 points higher. It's certainly not gonna do that. Good morning, Ribs. What do you use to get your levels, i.e. trend lines, fibs, previous close, settlement, open, etc.? cetera? Um, I brew a tea that has uh, mushrooms and LSD in it and I drink it 
And while I'm looking at a chart, I take a pencil and I draw on my LCD screens and wherever the biggest crack forms, that's where my level is. Um, do you look at ES? Yes, often. Uh, I mean, ES, we, we provide levels for that in the uh, morning memo every single day. So, <laughs> W Trucks <laughs> How the YouTube playback speed set at 0.75 you sounded drunk. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, man. <laughs> Dango Foxtrot used to drink a ton of it. It's amazing. I treat you and Top Step as trading buddies. I've got my own ideas, but I like to know other traders approach. Yeah, I think that's a good mindset to have there. <laughs> I think that's a good mindset there. <laughs> Did I say LSD screens? I may have. There you go. I need a seven day for seven dollar extension giveaway. <laughs> Same, but I'm also in a sweat lodge all day. <laughs> oh man, it's the best way to get the uh, the most accurate levels. It doesn't uh, <laughs> it doesn't doesn't fail at all. There. Yeah, we're just kind of meandering around. We'll go to the one minute so we can see what we're talking about here. We're just kind of meandering, bouncing around these levels right now. But you know, it looks pretty toppy right here. It looks pretty toppy, but we're also not pushing below right here. So like we're in a very tight zone right now. So that's hands off for me. Do you have this nice inefficiency that we could be pushing up into? What's your workout routine? Hit the gym every day. Uh, I try to do it six days a week. I try, but uh, you know, some days if I have like an injury, I'm not gonna work out. I hate to work out if I'm injured, even if it's like, you know, a completely different muscle group. If I you know, hurt my shoulder or tweak my shoulder. I don't like to work out legs even because, you know, it's all kind of interconnected. I like to take breaks when I'm injured or feeling, you know, kind of like I might get injured, but uh, I try to work out six days a week, sometimes seven, but you know, you can, you can get by with two or three days and be just fine, but I enjoy it. I actually enjoy it. And I like the, uh, the high that you get from it, the endorphins. Uh, I don't do any drugs. I don't drink alcohol. So that's my uh, that's my treat, right? And you can kind of it's it's all of your mindset. You can frame it however you want. A lot of people are like, ah, I have to work out. I I look at this like I get to work out. I'm I'm very blessed to be able bodied, and I get to work out, and I very much enjoy it, and I feel very fortunate to be able to do it. And I reframe my mindset that way, and it's uh, works out. It's leg day, man. Nah, shoulders for me today. Shoulder day. Got to keep these wings nice and wide. <laughs> I struggle with three days a week. Try to reframe your mindset. It should be something you look forward to. Find a way to make it fun for yourself. I've been working out for a very long time. I mean, years and years, <laughs> 20 plus years easily. <laughs> That's why he doesn't trade micros because he's always <laughs> already micro does. Uh, yeah, drug of choice is caffeine. Yeah, I guess you could call that. That's my drug right there. Bicep day for me today. Nice, I hit buys yesterday. Am I rich? No, only in uh, rich in spirit and soul. <laughs> I work out while watching the charts. Shoulders today. <laughs> I used to, you know, if I'd have like a really bad day with trading, I would, I would hit the workout even harder. Heart rate would be blasting through the roof, and yeah, put on some, some rage music and just smash it super hard. Win loopy rips only when I'm on low sleep, and I had plenty of sleep last night. Slept like a baby. Look at that. We are pushing up here. Goodness me, we are pushing up. We are six minutes away from the top of the hour. I'd really love to do this giveaway because I have to get over to Top Step TV soon. But where are we at right now? 780 likes. What do we need? We need 320 more. We have 1,500 people watching. Come on, folks. 320 more. Let's do it. Uh, yeah. I, uh, Oil says, Rips, man, come to Iowa. We will train. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Come to Vegas. Come to the uh, the Vegas get together, June thirteenth through June sixteenth. I'm going to be training every morning. You can do uh, workouts there if you're interested in that. I lift while training gets my mind off of it. What do you do if you're in the middle of a set and you need to close a position? <laughs> Throw the weights. Ah. <laughs> About to break over the five minute order block, uh, aiming for the fair value gap. Yeah, I'm looking on the uh, the 15 minute here. I would want to see this go back into that inefficiency. Redbook retail sales. Too many people talking. I, guess I heard a 3.2, a 4.1. Way too many people talking. 
I don't work out, but I have a pretty good set of abs somehow. Uh, abs are made in the kitchen, not really from working out. Abs are most often made in the kitchen. Everybody's got abs. Uh, so there we go. 3.2% uh, year over year. March month to date, 3.4%. I don't know who was saying 4.1%. Maybe it was a prior read. Can you do a stream in Spanish? Yeah, maybe, potentially. I might alienate some of the audience. I think it was like, it's only like 0.2% of people watch this stream with subtitles on. So I'm assuming that most people are English speakers. What supplements do you use or would you recommend for beginners? Um, Steel Supplements is really good. I mean, I use a lot of their products personally. Steel Supplements is probably the best of the best in my opinion. They're expensive, but they're, they're worth it. I mean, it's kind of the... Uh, non sawdust of the uh the options out there everything else is kind of garbage in my opinion am i streaming at 1 p.m tomorrow for fomc uh well we'll see i'm definitely gonna be streaming in the discord but we'll see if we do a youtube stream as well what if we supplement our likes with heart chat spam to show appreciation i mean i just if we can get to 1100 likes we're giving away a free top sub combine it doesn't get much easier than that there coke and trt yes that's the uh, the secret right there. Trend baloney sandwiches, deck of ball, trend balloon. Uh, what is there? Wait, what is the saying? Trend hard, eat clean, and never give up. <laughs> and never. <laughs> oh, goodness. Whey protein can't go wrong if lifting weights. I mean, I like to get my protein from my natural foods. I don't do a lot of pro. I used to do some protein powders and stuff like that, but... Uh, they have this really good thing called Atabolic at Steel, and it has kind of everything all in one. It's really, really good. It's got your good carbs. They also have Adelode, which is really good, but yeah. Ever heard of the carnivore diet? I mean, I, I did keto years and years ago before it was even popular. And uh, I mean, I eat pretty low carbs as is. I have eat very few carbs. I had steak, steak and butter last night, you know, so kind of carnivore diet. Look at this, we are pushing up like crazy. Anybody catch that? Push through 118 there. Did anybody catch that long? <laughs> Trent Baloney sandwich. Uh, yeah, Atkins. That's right. It used to be called Atkins. Nice. Look at that. Some W's in the chat there. Any thoughts on the Think Map U Book Book Map service? I've never heard of it, Zen Collins. I don't know about it. Think Map U Book. I've never heard of that one. Nice move there to the top side, folks who caught that. I'm just yapping away over here. Nice, nice, nice. Looks like some nice longs here. Love to see that. Good stuff. Nice work, Celsius lover. Caught it and jumped out early. Got to work on that. Just uh, try to trail your stop there, Josh. Trail your stop behind your position. And that way you won't get knocked out until the price comes back. You don't jump out of the trade early. Yeah, we're, we're gunning for that inefficiency, aren't we? We are 17 points away from hitting that 47 three quarters. What are you thinking as it reaches the inefficiency? Well, I mean, if we continue to ha find these buyers, we, we rejected off the lows on both Google and Apple. And if you remember at the top of the call, if you, if you were here for that, we talked about specifically that we're looking for that level to snap because there's pain below that, but that's exactly where we bottomed out. And so now we're racing back up to the top side. We're at the upper part of the range for Apple where if we break apart or break up above this level here, we could potentially see uh, Apple trading 175s all the way up to 178, potentially 178 is that topping level. Google and Apple kind of trading in tandem right now because of that AI news that came out yesterday. You long the lows, I long the top. <laughs> I hope this is a dead cat bounce. I want to rock it down at open. Oh, well, good luck to you, Todd. Hope your dreams come true. Your voice is comforting on the irritation of market. Keep the fun on. All righty. Love that. Got in with two lots and added two more on the dip. Just got stopped out with my trailer. 1200 bucks. Nice work there, Tim. Let's go. Good up for Tim. Passed my 150K combine today. Thanks to you, Rips. Lots of good information and content from you to watch and learn. Nice work there, Marco. That's not easy to do. 150K. That's a big one. Nice job. Happy birthday, Panchua. Is it your birthday, Panchua? Happy birthday, Panchua. <laughs> If it's your birthday. Did I miss uh, Panchua saying it's his birthday? How did I miss that? Happy birthday there, Panchua. Way to go. Another year in the books. Hey, can we give a happy birthday here to Panchua, please? Happy, happy birthday. 
So there's the 9 a.m. injection of liquidity. We have to think about packing up the stream here pretty soon. Got about five more minutes to get those likes up, folks. If we get to 213 likes, then we are going to do a free top step combine giveaway. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Look at all those birthday wishes for you, Panchua. Look at that. Happy birthday to you, buddy. Even with five cheap combines, I still hesitate to enter trades. Just trade on one. Trade on one. Trade on one single combine. Just one. Just one. Rips, how long have you had your YouTube channel? Uh, well, the YouTube channel is like a year old, but we started streaming in September. So what is that? Uh, six months? Just about? Almost six months? Give any resets? No, even better. Free top step combine. Way better than a reset. A full-fledged top step combine. You don't have to buy anything. Just click the like button. That's it. I mean, we're cutting it close. We got four more minutes. I don't... I don't know if we're going to get there, folks, to be honest. We just don't. Did my part. I logged in my two other accounts and liked the stream. <laughs> Thank you, DV. <laughs> How do you get that volume profile on your chart? It's called VRVP right there. Visible range volume profile. It's a free indicator on TradingView. <laughs> Block anyone that doesn't hit the like button. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what we'll do. I will be trading on Top Step TV today, though. If you need the link for Top Step TV, let me go ahead and send that right here and right now. Here's the link to Top Step TV stream. That's where I'm going to be shortly. Only 136 more likes to go. One error, error fair value gap. I'm. Uh, this is a 15 minute there, Grateful Trader. This is a 15 minute there. Reset is no good. It's a way that keeps you in a bad mindset until trading build the accounts no resets. Yep. You do whatever works for you. Yo, Rips, it would be awesome if you tell MP about putting the shot clock into tops of X. They're working on it right now. Would help so many people personally. I've had a tough time over trading recently. Yeah, just uh, just be patient. It's going to come. In the meantime, use, that, use that, uh, that trusty device there on your desk. Use your phone and try to stick to uh, the discipline. Prove to yourself that you got this. Nice work there, NQ Wolf. Long still, long and strong. We are tapping into the lower end of that inefficiency. Looking for that 147 three quarters there to the top side. It rips, what are the times for liquidity injections that you target? Top of the hour, quarter of the hour, bottom of the hour, three quarters of the hour, and top of the hour. That's the easiest way to look at it. Uh, but 9 a.m. is a big one, 9.25 open, uh, 9.45, 10 a.m. And then, you know, if it coincides with a newsprint, obviously that's going to, Shake things up a bit. Speaking of newsprints, we have a four and eight week bill announcement at 11 o'clock today. We have a 52 week bill auction at 1130. And then the big one of the day is going to be at 1 p.m. The Treasury's 20 year bond auction, 20 year reopening. It's going to be insane. That's going to be bringing in a lot of liquidity the day before FOMC. So we'll have to see what's the bid to cover on that bad dogger. And we'll have to see how that kind of shakes plays out there. We have about a minute and a half until we have to go get ready for Top Step TV. I don't think we're going to get those likes, unfortunately. We're very close, though. We've got very close. I think tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday, usually are the highest volume streams that we do in here. So usually that's when we will uh, pick it on up there. How do you draw your levels? Indicators or not? By hand. I do by hand. Tell everyone to like the stream in Spanish. For all the Spanish people. Stop it. Uh, 1,300. Yeah, we have 1,500, 1,400 people in here now. And so close, we got so close, so close. It's okay though. Tomorrow's a new day. And again, the offer will remain on the table. We're trying to get 1200 likes, we couldn't get there. So I dropped the benchmark to 1100 likes. If somehow we don't get to 1100 likes tomorrow for the Wednesday stream for the FOMC pre-stream, uh, then I guess we'll drop it to 1000 on Thursday. But I think that we'll get 1100 tomorrow for a free top sub comment. We did get 1000, we did get 1000 there. I mean, how many other streams that I know of that are giving away free top sub combine today? Maybe I'm confused, but hey, come on. You know? When was your last trade on live on or PA? As on a top sub combine. This is all top sub combine money right there. 517 bucks there. 517 bucks. So your clubhouse seven day pass come with a one on one and everything else. Not with a one on one, but everything else. Everything but the one on one. <laughs> everything but the one on one. Congratulations, Ribs on 12K. Thank you, Ash. Good to see you. Thank you for everything, Rips. You're awesome. Very good for my mindset. Thank you, Travis. Thank you, thank you. Gonna change my handle back to Kevin G. Jones. Troll me when was funny when I thought of, but now, eesh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Oh, goodness. All right, folks. Well, I got to get ready for Top Step TV. We got pretty close. We got to 1,020. We're 80 likes away. I got to get ready, though, because I got to get over there at 9.15 Eastern Time, 8.15 Central Time. Really appreciate everybody tuning in. We're going to finish the stream up $517 in our Top Step Combine account, which the current balance on that one stands at almost 155000 So we are inching closer to having another sweet pass combine sitting on the bench for us, which I'm looking forward to. Of course, so I'll be trading over in Top Step TV from here on out. You can catch me over there. If you're in the Discord, however, as you know, we'll do that special Discord stream. And, uh, you know, that's uh, that's what we'll do today. All right, folks, thanks for joining me here on YouTube. Folks in Discord, don't go anywhere. And if I miss you over in Top Step TV, I'll catch you bright and early here tomorrow at 8 a.m. sharp. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow.